are today, with no doubt in my mind that Aidan and Leah have found each in each other exactly what they were looking for. There's something special. So one day, Leah had noticed a bumblebee flying around the side of the shed, and it was dropping its baby bumblebees one by one into a water bowl beside the shed. I turned to Aidan and I said, are you ready for this? And he looked at me and he laughed and he confidently said, yep, she's got something special. But firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the beautiful bride. So I want to thank you for embracing Aidan and not trying to change him into someone different. Um, she fell in love with who he was and obviously decided that's the man you want to spend the rest of your life with and not taking the, the kaipui out of the kid from kaipui. <laughs> So living so close to each other, it helped us grow an incredibly strong bond, um, one that I reckon only brothers would really share. Uh, we can go ages without talking, um, but when we see each other, nothing ever changes. And we just pick right back up where we left off last time. But I did tell him, when he moved up here, don't go finding any little North Island shellers and think you're not coming back home. <laughs> and he did. And I'm so glad he did, Leah. And I'd like to thank Michelle and Alan for taking my son and looking after him. I found a story in one of my old school books that I wrote when I was eight. <laughs> my favourite person is my sister, Leah. Yesterday, I found spiders she was feeding flies to in her room in an ice cream container. My goal is to tell more ideas at sharing and writing time. I will do this when Leah and me play teachers. We didn't know back then that we were practicing for our careers as teachers now, and that you'd also be marrying a teacher. <laughs> attracted to Aidan's sense of humour. She loves his cheeky, uncontrollable laughter and that he always knows how to make her laugh. Aidan loves Leah's goofiness. For him, being with her is fun and makes him feel at home. That as husband and wife, you continue to be each other's best friend, confidant, teacher, listener, and voice of reason. I know in each other your family companionship you're both looking for, that special person who makes you laugh in each other's safe place. I wish you all the happiness for the next chapter. My moment was bringing the boy I knew I wanted to create a future with home because I wanted nothing more for you two to like him as much as I did. Well, he must have because not long after he moved in, so. Um, to Ellen and Michelle, thank you for your support and love. Um, you welcomed me into your family with open arms and done an amazing job raising your daughter. Um, you both always go above and beyond to ensure that she is safe and that's something that I've always appreciated. The moment I saw you teaching, I knew something was up. This boy was not a dancer. <laughs> what the heck was he trying to do? 
All I can say is that when you came out to have a chat, I saw the cute creases you get in the corner of your eyes when you smile, and I was sold. To Mrs. Hensey. <laughs> we made it. Um, after two years of planning, stressing, stress eating, stress drinking, and more stress eating, we're finally here. Um, I always knew you were beautiful, but nothing could prepare me for today. Like, it's, you look absolutely stunning. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Aidan and Leah, husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Hensey. Aidan, you may kiss your stunning wife. Um, but honestly, I could not be happier um, knowing that I get to spend the rest of my life uh, with you is a dream come true. You're the most caring and loving person that I've ever met. I love you so much, Leah, and I'm privileged to call myself your man. <laughs>